I'm Sean Kennedy here with KCSU Video. We're here today with Blue Lane Frontier, an indie rock band out of Fort Collins, Colorado. How are y'all doing today? Fantastic. Lovely. Super nice. Yeah. You guys have an uh, interesting band story. You want to tell everyone how you guys got started as a band? Oh, we were not prepared for this. Uh, let's see. How, did the how band far start? back do you want? Yeah. <laughs> From the very beginning. Okay. All right. The humble origin. So, before there was space, before there was... So, uh, in middle school, <laughs> uh, when I lived in Arizona, me and my friend Daniel started playing music together. He played drums, and I played guitar. So we'd mess around with all sorts of different like rock and metal stuff, and we just never could get a consistent band together that would actually practice and like show up. So uh, we did that for a little while, and then stayed really good friends through high school, and the band name changed a few times. We weren't Blue Lane for quite a while. but. Um, yeah, then sometime around junior year, we're like, all right, let's take this more seriously and actually like write our own songs and, and play places that aren't our living room. So we just did a lot of duet stuff. I started playing a lot more acoustic guitar, and uh, we played tea shops and uh, some uh, wedding ceremony type things, which, which were weird, but fun. We got paid a lot of money, which we're not to used play, to. Like, 50 or songs or something for Yeah, me. yeah. Our yeah. set list was like that long That's because crazy. we just had to be background music for two hours, but it was great. Mm -hmm. um, so then I came up to CSU for school, and Daniel stayed in Arizona. So I played solo stuff here for a while, for like a year. Uh, Seven Circle in Denver was a huge part of that for sure, mm -hmm. getting me started in that community. But um, yeah, then I, I met Jackson. He was training to work sound at a show that I was playing at Seven Circle Music Collective. And uh, Jackson played music and went to CSU. So we started playing together. And then uh, through Jackson, we met Emily. And then, <laughs> and then um, through Seven Circle and also The Forge, another collective in Boulder. Uh, we met Stephen and uh, Emily, our drummer, not this one, but the other one. <laughs> the one, yeah. So that's that's, that's kind of like a very yeah. compact history of the band. It's a lot of uh, lots of a lot of movement. How many members have you had overall in the band's history, if you know? Um, and not including us five. Yeah, are we including? Yeah. Including okay, five. cool. So five. Three other um, drummers. Oh no. And Matt. So like four other people. Oh, we don't even know. Probably double digits, yeah. okay. like low Lots double digits. Okay. It's hard. Like people don't want to commit necessarily to mm. to like music all the time, which is cool. Like that makes sense. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so you guys have any upcoming shows in town or anything like that? We actually yeah. have them um, October 9th? Yeah, the yeah October ninth mm -hmm. at Surfside Seven. Yeah. Twenty one plus, which is weird. We've mm -hmm. never done like twenty one plus before, but that's yeah, that's cool. The, play the bar scene or whatever and Surfside's a really like cool place to play I think so. You guys have a split coming out soon with another Denver band, uh, Jack Smirking Revenge. What was it like working with that band? Um, working with is a, like a loosely used term because that band, I wouldn't say they're like disorganized but they're kind of like, they're in, they're not, I wouldn't even say in turmoil, they're just kind of like all over the place in their own lives but uh, We've worked with like Austin from that band and, and Alex from that band a little bit, and they're just like really good people. I mean, mm -hmm. the, it's there's not like much else to say about them. They're just really mm -hmm. well. There is, but like uh, strictly speaking about their personalities, they're just like really cool, mm -hmm. yeah. amazing people that are really good at making music. So it's cool that we have like an opportunity to do something like that. I think. Um, what was the recent album you guys came out with? No big fuss. No big fuss. Yeah, that was yeah. 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 Okay. And um, what was your favorite? If you guys have any favorite songs off that record? Uh, I think for me, one of the ones I always get stuck mm. in my head is Robert Fulton's Monster, which Jackson wrote. And I don't, I don't quite know why. Just the way that it came together with everybody. It's home, you know? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's home? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any, and I probably hate this question, do you have any sort of philosophy or mindset you come with to creating music for this band, or is it just, does it just come? Uh, wow, that's, yeah, that's an interesting question. question. Yeah, like uh, writing for a reason or just writing just cause or whatever. I don't think we'd have like a strict philosophy. I mean, I don't, I think the band has only ever served the purpose to be like, like, uh, 
kind of like, I wouldn't even say a collective, but just this kind of group mm -hmm. where you can r write music you want to write, put it together with people that are also good at making music, and then, or at least you, that I think are good at making music, and then kind of put it out under the same moniker. So mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it's just mm -hmm. like an outlet for that, cool. I guess. Just, just like an outlet? That's awesome. Do you guys yeah. have any other groups that you're working on, any side projects? Or? Uh, yeah, Stephen has. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I play in another band out of Boulder, Luna May. Play like folk, folk punk music. Sweet. Um, Jackson, I heard that you were working with another person in Denver to start like a casket collective record label. Do you want to talk, tell us about that? Oh yeah, I can't take any credit for that because that's <laughs> not my that's not my project. It's just something a couple of our friends are doing, mm. uh, and it's like this really cool idea. Um, they kind of started on a spite because one of our other friends in Portland like started a very uh, not the exact same thing but a very similar thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, so our friend per our friends Perry and Austin uh, started this kind of it kind of started as a tape collective, but it's basically just a, a place where Perry can release all of the art and music he wants to do and like bands that are interested in uh, releasing tapes can like release tapes through this kind of collective. It's not I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask uh, Perry and Austin for more details on that kind of thing, but uh, that's basically what it is, is releasing tapes and, okay. and artwork and stuff like that. So Perry and I did enter a pie-making contest under the Casket Collective that's name. True. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We, we didn't come home with any medals, unfortunately, oh. but we mm -hmm. definitely won over some hearts. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have played a lot around Colorado. Um, do you guys have any favorite places to play or... Do you have any like crazy performance stories, shows that went awry in a good or bad way, that sort of thing? I, I guess I could do awry, that's fun. Yeah. The first time Jake and I played a show was really fun because I, I didn't like know any of Jake's songs. And so I was like sitting there like watching him play guitar basically the whole set, like trying to play something behind him. And then like Jake broke three guitar strings and we quit the set like 10 minutes early and like everybody was so cool about it everybody was like you guys are great like it's gonna go great I mean everybody has these kinds of sets I don't know it was just really funny um, it was cute it was the start of uh, something nice. somebody gave us three bucks for a CD and I still have like that dollar bill hanging up on my wall because it's pretty special but yeah that, that's a story I guess nice where was that that was at Seventh Circle uh, in Denver nice all right well I think that's all the questions that I have for you guys. Do you have anything else you want to say to fans out there? We could throw in like a sponsorship. Like maybe somebody will give us money if we <laughs> sponsor a company right now. Ooh. Uh, what's, what should Blue Land be sponsored Nintendo. by? No, yeah. that's too easy. What? Monsanto. Monsanto. <laughs> Monsanto, yeah. Monsanto and DuPont. Uh, <laughs> that works. Uh, <laughs> Donald Shout Glover. Out. Donald Glover <laughs> as an organization. Uh, sponsor us. Thanks to our sponsors. Uh, I don't know. Agent Orange is that's not a company. <laughs> it's a chemical. <laughs> Someone has to make it. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I don't. I don't know that we have much else to say. It's cool. Thank you for inviting us here. Yeah, this is cool. We've never done neat. anything like this. this is, awesome. Yeah, neat. Thanks, guys. Check out more content on uh, www.kcsufm.com and check out CTV's Local Beach Show on Channel 11.